Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager, here once again with another video on Stargirl Season 3. And this is going to be my trailer breakdown for episode 11 for this season, the third last episode, otherwise entitled The Haunting. But of course, before we get into anything else, let's actually watch the trailer. Icicle's back. Dad? I'm a changed man. I'm taking an icicle out the first chance I get. So last episode, of course, saw us seeing the fallout from the McKent Manor battle, if you want to call it that. And we sort of focus on the threat that they potentially could have following it. But as we see at the end, the threat, I guess, that we're going to get does revolve around the McKents potentially, but not in the way we thought as we do see Paula and Crusher, or the Crocs, being killed by a reformed icicle. With him, of course, being revealed as the hooded figure we saw looking over the surveillance screens, you know, a couple of episodes back, with Icicle actually destroying the Crocs' body, so there's no real evidence there. So, yeah, Icicle is back, baby. But of course, before we get into the actual breakdown of the trailer, we will quickly read out the synopsis or description for the episode. It does give us a bit more context as to what's going on. But of course, throughout the video, be sure to let me know in the comments section down below your various, you know, reactions to the trailer, what you're looking forward to the most based off it, any theories and predictions moving forward. Do you think Icicle is actually the villain? Let me know. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video, want to show your support and you're looking forward to this episode, why not drop a like on the video to show your support and excitement? Seeking forgiveness. As Corny, Sylvester, and the JSA plot to take down a major threat, the arrival of someone from their past sends shockwaves through the town. So yeah, I think we can assume that the uh, the major threat is Ultra Humanite, and the arrival of someone from the past is our good old mate Icicle. But speaking of Icicle, to kick off the trailer, we do see Icicle's hand under the glove, and it's almost there, but it's still healing. So... It does make you wonder, does he need something specific to heal? Like, does he need to attack people? Does he need, like, I know it sounds silly, but water or something along those lines? Does he need that to heal? Or does he just need time? Or is this a permanent thing? Like, he's been able to heal himself in certain areas, but this is something that he can't do. I mean, if he was to turn to skin there, I guess it would just be bones. It'd look like he's, I don't know, two fingers there have been degloved or something like that which is a bit grim. Don't look up to glove finger. It'll give you nightmares. Um, but is that what's going on there? Or is it, can he actually heal eventually? I'm not too sure. I guess we'll wait and find out. But the, the big question that I think a lot of people have in the mystery heading into this episode is, will we learn how Icicle came back? Like, did he do it himself? Or was it just a general, you know, regeneration and being reformed sort of thing? Or did he get some help from someone? Also, how did he and Cindy, like not get an inkling of each other down under Blue Valley. We're not too sure exactly how close they were. Um, like, it's that same system under Blue Valley, but they would have been a decent... Because the ISA headquarters are directly under the American Dream Building, and that manhole cover was, like, you know, like you know, not too far away, because Blue Valley's not the biggest town, but it also wasn't, like, around the corner. So, I mean... <laughs> Could they have heard each other? I'm like, I'm sure Icicle knew Cindy would have been down there through the cameras and stuff. Like, he would have known if Cindy was down there. So maybe he just stayed still and silent as a mouse when she was present. Or if he did move around, just made sure not to knock anything down or anything like that. Um, but then again, maybe Cindy goes, if she finds out about this, she's like, well, hold on. There were some times where I heard something, but I just thought it was a mouse or something or a rat. So maybe she might say something like that if, if she gets involved in this. But just makes you wonder, they would have been down there at the same time. I mean, that just makes things a bit creepier, especially because he probably was walking around with that mask on. So yeah, a bit weird. But as we do see Jordan, McKent, you know, or Icicle, it's, am I going to call him Jordan? Am I going to call him Icicle? We'll just go Icicle from now on. But he goes back into action out in Blue Valley. And is this because people go looking for the Crocs? So the tunnels beneath Blue Valley aren't the best for him anymore. So maybe Courtney and I know Yolanda and Pat and Sylvester go into the tunnels or they're just searching around Blue Valley, but the tunnels is one of the places they go and look and just not the best place for him to be. Maybe they find the surveillance screens and destroy them or something next episode. So he has to come out. I'm not too sure exactly how it's going to go. Or maybe just coincidentally, he is at the point that he is well enough to re-emerge into the open world just after getting rid of the Crocs. So just like, hey, it's all happened in a very convenient way. Or maybe he felt he needed to get rid of the Crocs before coming back into town officially as Jordan McKen again, because it's important to remember that the Crocs were the final Injustice Society members that were left. 
Now, I'm not sure if we will learn why now is the time. It could just be good timing, might be completely skipped over, but then it might be brought up. So just something to think about. Now, of course, one of the reunions in this episode that's going to be a bit uh, awkward is the Jordan and Barbara reunion. Of course, Jordan was trying to get with Barbara last season. And of course, that whole confrontation at the end, or not last season, sorry, in season one. And obviously in the, the finale, it, it bubbled up to even more awkwardness. So... I'm very curious to see their interaction, but of course, there's another important reunion, and that's Jordan McCann or Icicle with his family, and specifically his son, Cameron. I am wondering what their conversation will be like, because Cameron has just learned that his father was killing people and stuff like that, but then he was, he was dead, so how's he... Like, that whole conversation is going to be very interesting. But pretty much anything with Icicle in this episode, I'm just curious about, because he's got to explain certain things in a in a... And I'll, like lie to people pretty much, but also explain things in a truthful manner, like how he came back. Now, obviously, I think many people are questioning this following last episode. Is Icicle the true villain of the season? Or is there an actual chance that he has turned good? I mean, he does say to Barbara, uh, it looks, by the looks of it, it seems to be Barbara, uh, that he is a changed man and all this stuff. And this trailer doesn't hint at that answer as to whether it's yes or no to that, because... We don't know if he did kill the gambler and he was the one that he attacked Sylvester. We don't know that. That could have been Ultra Humanite or even like another person that's revealed later on. But then again, we literally just saw Icicle kill the Crocs. So it's not a really good thing, you know, good guy thing to do. Go kill two people. <laughs> Especially two people like the Crocs who would sort of reform themselves and become functioning and good people within society. So I think it's a hard uh, thing to pass there unless... You know, there's no evidence that he was the one that killed them. So maybe he just says, hey, it wasn't me. I had no idea. Or maybe he try and shifts blame. Maybe Ultra Humanite is blamed. I mean, we have, to, we have, you know, the gambler being attacked by what looks like it could have been Ultra Humanite. And Sylvester was attacked by something and they believe it to be Ultra Humanite. Was on the farm, tried to attack Mike and Jakeem as well. So maybe they just think, hey, they it got to the Crocs as well. And this could be potentially a connection in the trailer because we do see Icicle in the woods so maybe that is an ultra humanite connection, whether it means that Icicle is working with ultra humanite or he's maybe trying to plant evidence that the Crocs were got involved with it. Maybe that he's trying to, you know, plant the theory that the Crocs, you know, got wind and went to try and deal with ultra humanite themselves. Could be something like that and they got killed. So the issue with that is that he did blow them away, but Sportsmaster's mask was left behind. If you do see there, like the mask is left there because uh, what he called Sportsmaster had it with him when he went to the McKen's household. So the, the, the mask is there on the floor. So maybe that's the evidence that's chucked into the woods to make the JSA think that Ultra Humanite killed the Crocs. I don't know. Maybe that's a weird theory, but potentially that's what's going on because then it could link into what we see with Sylvester and he's destroying the barn where I think that's on the, the farm where Mike and Shaquem ran into Ultra Humanite. So maybe he goes there to try and, whether it's try and find Ultra Humanite or find some evidence, maybe he's the one that finds the mask of Sportsmaster, I'm not too sure, and he ends up getting very angry and destroying the barn. But then again, in the trailer, we do see Courtney referring to like Icicle's back, and then Sylvester's like, I'm going to kill Icicle or whatever it is, like the moment I see him, whatever it is. But that could be later in the episode when more truths are revealed. We're not too sure. We're not too sure exactly how that's going to play out. But then again, it could just be the general thing with Icicle back. Maybe they still think that Ultra Humanite killed the Crocs, but just the fact that Icicle is back and what he did in season one, that's what spurs all these emotions anyway, which you can understand that seems very realistic that they wouldn't be overly happily, uh, overly happy that someone that, you know, did all that stuff is randomly back in action and alive and, you know, probably should have remained dead. But I don't know, maybe Courtney's like, oh, this is the out. Maybe Cameron won't be mad at me anymore. So maybe this is a good thing. I don't know. Maybe Courtney thinks in a weird way like that, but... I'm very interested to see how all this plays out because I wasn't expecting this, even though it was a theory that a lot of people were running with and that we did mention was a possibility. But yeah, things are just taking a new turn and we still got three episodes, including this one, to play out. So there's still a lot of time for more twists and turns and surprises to happen. And I'd be surprised in this type of season we've had so far that there weren't more surprises and twists and turns coming our way. So... Let's wait and see what they are. But yeah, unfortunately, we don't have any promo images at the time of making this video. No, in my life, they'll probably come out as soon as this video comes out to the public. But yeah, nothing to go over so far. They probably wouldn't have revealed too much, I think, um, seeing we're towards the end of the season. But maybe they might have given us a good couple shots of Icicle or 
Jordan McCann, whichever way they want to put it. But yeah, we haven't got anything from that. So bit of a bummer, but what are you going to do? But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome. You could drop a like and show support. Let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions on the trailer, what you're looking forward to the most based off and any theories and predictions moving forward. Always curious to read what you guys are thinking. And of course, if you are new to the channel, want to subscribe, be sure to subscribe. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Goodbye.